Hi everyone, my name is Lynn Lyon and I've been a licensed psychotherapist for almost 20 years. I've worked with thousands of men, women, and couples over the years in various care settings and I'm so blessed to do the work that I do. So let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt really stuck and overwhelmed and joyless in your life? You are so not alone. At some point, all of us are going to go through a struggle. And one of the things that I have found that has been so incredibly helpful, so simple, but so powerful is nurturing a gratitude practice. I tell all of my clients about gratitude and the importance of nurturing it and practicing it. So the research shows us that when we nurture and practice gratitude, we actually feel more joyful, more alive and connected in our life. So it's a really important thing to practice. So here's what I tell all my clients to do. First thing in the morning, grab your favorite journal or pen. Now I love journals that have really great words and inspiring quotes inside. And I also love a woman named Catherine Price has developed a fabulous gratitude journal that you can buy on Amazon and also be on the lookout for the 90 day gratitude journal. So really simple, when you roll out of bed, you can even make your favorite bread, beverage, cup of coffee or tea, sit down and write three to five simple things that you're really grateful for. You don't need to overthink it. It can be as simple as I'm grateful that I feel good today. I'm grateful for this cup of coffee. I'm really thankful for that silly thing my kid did yesterday. I'm really glad that my parents are feeling healthy right now, especially in the midst of COVID-19 and socially isolating and we can't connect with people in person. Perfect thing to practice right now. So you do this first thing in the morning before you get started with any of your responsibilities or your work. It takes a couple of minutes. And do the same thing at night. About 30 to 45 minutes before you lay down to go to bed, get out that favorite journal of yours and once again, write down three to five things that you are really grateful or thankful for. They can be some of the same things that you wrote from that morning. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that you actually write it down because over time, it's going to inspire you to feel really thankful, really connected, and even more joyful. The other thing I tell all of my clients to do is set a timer on your phone. I recommend doing it at about midday or after lunch. Now, the timer is reminding you to think about one person, place, or thing that you're genuinely grateful for. It can be super simple. It can be your child, a family member, a place, a favorite memory, it doesn't matter. But as you're thinking it inside, internally, place your hands right over the center of your chest. And if you notice, this is right at your heart center. You close your eyes and you take 20 seconds to breathe in the nose and out the mouth and think about that person, place, or thing that you're really grateful for. Now, if you do this for at least a week, if not two, every day, I challenge you to consider if you're feeling more joyful in your life. Are you experiencing more meaning day to day? Give this a shot. And if you forget to do it one day, don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself. Start anew that evening or the next day. And after a week or two, see how you feel. Have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously. Thanks for listening.